What's up guys, welcome to the video. I'm sorry I couldn't wait the entire month of November to shave all that stuff off, but it's just, it got so disgusting looking. I don't look good at facial hair. So I shaved it off and now I look way better. I'm trying out the new uh, white chocolate peppermint bark. I think it actually has uh, actual pieces of tree bark in it. So this launches on Cyber Monday. What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I went and looked at some new apartments in my building because your boy is moving in about three to four months and I want to see my options and I want to move into a bigger apartment, a two bedroom specifically, so I can have an office with like lighting and just sick angles set up and I want to have like a bigger living space for more natural daylight in the kitchen and in the living room and I just get bored living in the same spot and also the office could double as a second bedroom with like a pull out couch and its own bathroom. So if I have any people come over and they wanna stay, they can have their own space. I'm just kidding, I have no friends. Now I currently live in Virginia and my gym is over here and DC is over here. So I live kinda of in the middle. It's a really good central location and I like it. But I've been considering moving to DC because not only do I just want kind of a different environment, I really like the city life, I like being able to walk to places, even though I do love driving the CERT over there. But you gotta remember that because I do YouTube full time, like the decision of where I live, like is impacted by my YouTubes. And if I can bring some diverse content with, you know, city, city sickness, then I might do it, it's just in my thought. But if I move to DC, it would be definitely more expensive, probably another like six to $700 a month. Guys, I saved 25 doll hairs by price matching on my mobile app on Amazon on that dry erase board. I'm the deal finder. I win. You lose. YouTube life. That's good, man. You guys, good. Are, you guys gonna subscribe? subscribe to him. Yeah, I'm almost gonna subscribe. Man. He's gonna subscribe right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna subscribe right Everyone's now. Everyone's gonna subscribe. It's the best channel on YouTube. Best channel on YouTube. He already YouTube. did. I hit that notification. I love you, Chipotle. You're the only thing I need in my life. Fitness time. You know, in my, my deadlift, I hit 500 for eight. It was a sick PR. Oh, oh. I was saying how well my training's going. Bench press is not the same. I'm the only YouTuber to have the exact same bench press for years and it not be depressing. 210 pounds for an AMRAP. Just did this for three sets of five. How many can I get? Put a number in your head. One, two, who knows? Zero. 210. Smash your thumbs up button, give me some help. Shit, Johnny! Woo! Oh my god, did you just get eight? That was ten, bro. <laughs> you wanna know why I don't get upset about my crappy bench? Because no one cares about a bench press. I'm going to the bars tonight with the boys because it's the night before Thanksgiving. And every girl I go up to, all two of them, I'm gonna go, hey yo girl! You see that I work out? She's like, oh yeah, I can definitely tell that with your huge muscle mass and your gigantic shoulders. She's gonna go, hey. What's your deadlift? And I'm gonna go 622.8, girl. And she's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking now. Oh, exciting news, guys. Hold on, just hold this pause. 
Oh god, that was a bad idea. <laughs> um, as far as powerlifting meets go, apparently there's one right down the street from here in April of next year. And I think I'm gonna compete in that. So we have enough time, and I think with the right programming, I can hit like a 303 bench press. So get okay. ready for that. You know what this is? This is the back of a dry erase board. It means it's about to be a dry erase board chat. You might be like, well, Ma Max, Christian invented the dry erase board. Well, I, I want to do it too, and unlike him, mine's actually going to be entertaining. So right here is wasting money, pros and cons, okay? Now, I know there's a lot of financial experts that know everyone's financial situation, and I want your opinion because one of these is happening. But if any of you are about to comment like, Max, you freaking idiot, you living in Washington DC is so stupid, man. You should move to Kentucky. It's cheaper there. You should buy a freaking house, man. You, why do you have to live in a high rise? Why do you have to have granite countertops? You're so stupid, dude. If you're one of those people and you have that comment, right here, at any point in the video, you, you're thinking that, you're thinking you, you know everyone's financial situation, right there, once again, okay? Other than that, let's get into this. First up, Virginia, pros, sick location, dude. The current apartment is in between the gym and Washington DC. I can get to both very easily. It's right in the middle. That's a pretty good pro right there. Premium Tinder account. This place would be a little bit cheaper. I have the prices estimate down here. So I could have more money to do other things such as premium Tinder account. That's a big deal. Parking for my friend. Notice I didn't put an S on there. There's actual street parking right at my apartment and in DC you have to pay to park, so that's kind of frustrating. But luckily I only have probably like one friend that ever comes over. So parking for my friend, that's a pro right there. Let's go to pros on Washington DC. Find a girlfriend. Because I'm in a new area, I could potentially be walking down the street and a girl could be like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, uh, we have to date. Like, that's not gonna happen here. It could happen in Washington DC. Find it. That's the number one pro about moving there. That could be a big deal. Number two, no more skinny max. In DC, there's lots of places to walk. We have Chipotle, we have restaurants and everything, and I could potentially put on weight. I know you might think it's impossible, but it could be possible in Washington DC. No more skinny max. Lots of sirs. That means lots of pigeons and stuff. We're in a completely different environment. There's a lot more things to film. There's a lot more sick angles to get, and there's a lot more birds to chase around on Snapchat. So being in this new location would bring a lot more dynamic to my YouTube video because I would kind of force to get myself out in the city. Let's go to the cons on Virginia. Sad Drake music. Everyone in my building has heard me play sad Drake music for the past two years. My concierge has seen me come in after one too many martinis and they're probably gonna kick me out anyway. But like everyone in the building, it, it, it's just, it's getting repetitive going to the same location, right? That kind of ties into number two is I'm bored. I usually move every year because I just get tired of staying in the same apartamente. So I'm just like tired of, I'm, I'm kind of bored of the building. And when you live in apartments, you have the flexibility to go wherever. So that's just, I'm just bored, honestly. And three cons is cardio. That's why I'm so skinny because I can't, I, 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 I'd have to walk everywhere and I'm not gonna do that. So I, I, I drive everywhere. If you wanna go get food, you have to drive. I can't just walk to go get like food or Chipotle or do anything. In DC, I can do that. So that's a con, there's nothing like super, super close to where I live, okay? Now Washington DC cons, you got doll hairs. If you see the price difference down here, it's a pretty drastic. It could be up to about $1,000 more in DC to get the same size space. So spending more doll hairs is a con because we want that premium Tinder account. Number two is a sad cert. Sad cert because there's traffic and I'd have to drive a little further and it's not as much open roads where I live now. The cert is a beautiful stallion and it can't fully gallop in DC. I, I'm, I'm like wasting all of the horsepower in that bad boy because I can't like, I can't, I'd be going really, really fast to like five feet in front of me in DC. There's a lot of traffic, right? And number three is I'm lazy AF. If I move to DC, I not only have to move everything out of my apartment and go transfer into DC, I have to sign up for like all new registration, uh, like moving into a different the area, you, you, there's a lot of processes you have to do, and just like doing all that, I just, it's just, I just don't want to do that really. So these are the pros and cons, right there. Read them and weep. What do you guys think? Now, obviously, guys, back to the uh, the people who are probably still commenting. Um, you don't know everyone's financial situation. I, at this point in my life, I like renting. I like apartments, I like high rises. I like to continually have a better place to live than my last place or equal. 
ever forward. I don't want to go back to like the trap house days. To, uh, go to my YouTube videos and search like the first couple day of eating videos. Those are the trap house days. I don't want to go back to that. I like living in nicer places and I want to spend my money on that. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think? Leave, leave your comments down below. Wasting money with Max. Spending money on apartments. Woo! All right, it is currently Thanksgiving Day. I'm about to go inside of my sister-in-law's parents and enjoy a feast with some good people, friends, and family. Very, very excited. Hopefully you had a great turkey day yourself. Hung out with the people that mean the most to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So smash thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one, dude. Say hey, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Bye, Daryl.